That's right. It is still warm and it's humid out there as well. We're still dealing with a lot of that low cloud cover all across our area. The exception to the rule would be the mountains where we're seeing a little bit of sunshine, but also some added rainfall and the mountains going to have the best chance at seeing some showers and storms as the day progresses. Temperatures, once the clouds start to break up just a little bit, which will take place gradually, slowly but surely, but by the afternoon we should see at least a few peaks in the clouds of sunshine. Temperatures will reach the low to mid 80s with mostly dry conditions outside of the mountains, but I'll show you on Futurecast where most of that rain will be. I want to draw your attention to the Caribbean. This just in as of the 11 o'clock update from the National Hurricane Center. If you have our first alert weather app, you heard it first there. Potential tropical cyclone nine. So they're wanting to issue some advisories on what will likely become a tropical storm and then eventually a hurricane could even reach category two hurricane strength as this moves into the Gulf of Mexico later on this week. In terms of what we can anticipate here at home, we are expecting just an unsettled week overall every single day with a chance for some shower and thunderstorm activity. But once we get towards Friday, rain chances, gusty winds, this all starts to increase as we're watching that system that will likely move into the Gulf. So first alert already in place. That's what Chief Meteorologist Al Conklin was talking about this morning. The latest forecast timing and thoughts here in just a few minutes.